Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Sunday morning's walk didn't go well. It's Harry. we've started to get spectators, four-legged spectators. It's the stray. It's some of the stray cats that have been causing problems are starting to follow us, Harry. but watch from a distance. And one of them was crying yesterday or calling Harry. and Harry, it was like a magnet to Harry How and he went climbing up this pile of rubble he wanted to actually climb up the wall to get to where this cat was and I was thinking the minute I set foot outside the gate now to go for, a, I mean, this is my walk. I have to walk every day. But the cats are on me now. All of them. And You're the worst. I think they're bored. I think they're bored and I think they look for something different. And the fact that I'm going out for a walk, there are other cats there. And I was thinking, you know, how many times have we seen a cat up on a wall or in a tree right. or somewhere asleep and just assumed that they're happy? Yes. Mr. Grey Cat. How do we know that that cat isn't bored, fed up? You know, is this all there is in life and would love a chance to do something else? Because, you know... I was always brought up on yeah, cats are solitary animals. They like their own company. They're happier like that. I don't think they are. I think they would jump at a chance. I think the stray cats would love to join in. They don't know how because they've been on their own. It's been a tough life for them possibly. They have to fight for food. They just have to fight. Then all of a sudden you've got all these cats in a field playing, being happy. When they get back there might be biscuits there. There's a blanket, there's warmth, there's safety, there's comfort, there's love. These stray cats don't really know. They were born into love. And they may have been born into a litter. They've been taken away. I don't know, there's so many things that go through my head. <laughs> I need a life. Uh, but even with my cats, I've said to you before how the blind cats are always looking to, they're happy to play. Even William at five, he, still, he, he, he wants to join in, he's happy to join in. Whereas Fergus will plod around, looks like an old man. But now, because there's a, because I'm going out for a walk, Hello. and the other cats are joining in, they all want to be involved. I think they're a lot more social than we uh, give them credit for. This is Gizmo, by the way. This is the mountain cat. One of them. And this is Mrs. Kira. Special K. Right this was her first trip actually onto the mountain, this part. There's Grey Cat. And there's himself. Who's now banned from the mountain. We'll get to that bit later.
I'll come down. See how he pulls away. He doesn't want to be picked up. He'll want to try it and do it his way. He is so independent, this cat. He'll only let me pick him up when there is absolutely no way for him to, to get down or to go anywhere else. It doesn't matter that everyone else is waiting for him. He will do things. He will just do it his way. It takes him as long as it takes him. He's a very complex cat. Kira! <laughs> Come on, Kira's scared. Because we're all waiting for you, mister. We were all getting bored waiting for him, so I picked him up. This is in a few parts, everyone. So, uh, grab a cup of coffee. I think that's Jasper climbing up. Uh, it was Jasper because Fergus didn't want to come out for a walk. It was a wise move in the end. Hello, Harry. So we will all catch up with you again Hello, very shortly. Harry.